Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Nadia. So today's video is going to be kind of a little different. Um, so we're going to be talking about stocks and investing and finance and things like that. But I wanted to kind of have like a candid question and answer conversation with my friend Noemi. And so you guys have seen me wear this shirt before, my Money Moves with Nadia. Some of you thought I had my own merch, but um, I don't. She just made this shirt for me. So Noemi and I went to undergrad together. Um, before I get into that, let me apologize in advance for this mic situation. I only film by myself and I realize I only have one uh, mic. I want to do more question and answer videos like this or conversation. So next time, don't worry, this will not be this back and forth handing the mic. But um, so Noemi, I'm going to let her give her background, but I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the things she's accomplished and why I thought it would be helpful to you guys. So Noemi and I met in undergrad, like I said. And she bought her own house when she was 20. She had a full ride scholarship um, to the school we went to together. She has a great corporate job and she started her own small business. And she's been investing in like the stock market for a little while now. Sometimes we'll like bounce stocks off each other and be like, oh, what do you think about this one? And I just think her story and how she got started is so inspiring. And I know some of you have messaged me about starting your own businesses or wanting more income because I think what kind of holds people back from investing in the stock market is they feel like they don't have enough money to start. And now I think that's kind of a misconception because if you have, you know, the basics of like if you have money saved up and you're ready, you don't necessarily need a whole lot of money to start investing. I didn't start investing with a whole lot of money. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys that extra encouragement. Sometimes people's stories inspire you. I know people's story, I, her specifically, she's inspired me. So I kind of wanted to share her story with you guys. Bring her on here and let her talk about it firsthand. Hey guys, um, so glad that I'm on your channel <laughs> and that you thought of me. But yeah, my name's Noemi, I'm 24 years old. I currently work nine to five at a consulting company and I do marketing there. Um, I graduated with a marketing degree and now I, you know, kind of do my my um, small business on the side and it's called I Am Designs and I sell um, apparel with positive affirmations um, and just inspirational quotes to kind of get people to have the confidence to be able to chase their dreams. Um, but yeah, that's just a little quick synopsis of, of me. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want me to go into... Kind of like your family background. Yeah. So I grew up um, <laughs> low income. Um, I, my mom was a single mom for the longest and I grew up with 10 siblings. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely watch her hustle um, getting all of us through school. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think that's what makes like my story I guess a little bit more inspirational is that yeah. I did not at all have the money the resources the education to um to really like get invested and you know buy a house um but I think the one thing that um I really had for myself is that I've always had that ambition to um learn on my own um so at a very young age I would do like I would google internship programs in the city um, and I did a couple of those. I did like after school matters here in Chicago. Um, I also worked with my mom for the longest. Um, and yeah, so I got exposure to um, working mm -hmm. for income yeah. um, at a very young age. And, you know, when you're that small, it, it's just like extra 20 bucks to like, you know, go get ice cream with your friends or something. Mm -hmm. um, but because I had a lot of experience in high school, I was actually able to do a work study program, which later turned into a full time position while I was still in college. Um, so in college, I also got a full ride, like Nadia mentioned. Mm -hmm. And now I had a full time salaried position, which really that was like life changing for me. It was the yeah. first time I ever had that much amount of money or ever seen that much amount of money. I think it was more money than even my mom had ever made um so that's that's really what like switched switched my yeah. mind a little bit into like okay I've been you know for a couple of years been saving and like mm -hmm. um been trying to avoid debt um now I really have to start thinking about what I want to invest in and how yeah. I want my future to look. to yeah to to look and how to, how to grow it um so that's when I started looking into um buying a house um 
And the reason why I chose to buy a house and not the stock market, um, mm-hmm. I did, you know, have my little 401k and I would, I just chose like a random mutual fund just because I was not educated enough on mm-hmm. the stock market. Um, and that's the reason why I kind of avoided it at the beginning um, is because I just didn't know. Like, I always thought like, if you put five dollars in you're gonna lose all your money <laughs> um yeah, yeah right <laughs> so um i didn't have enough education at that age to truly um look at the stock market as an investment as an investment so i just decided to buy a house instead um i saved up money for a down payment um i called a loan officer and yeah a couple months later i bought my house so that's really cool. I have another friend who's a real estate agent, and you guys might see Noemi back on the channel again because I want to do a video kind of going in depth about the steps of buying a house for those of you who are thinking about maybe investing in real estate. But um, yeah, I, I feel like I was kind of in the same boat as her with the being scared to invest in the stock market and kind of like transitioning into her small business. Like, I know, you know, you kind of have to take a leap of faith on that sort of thing. And is there any advice you would give to someone who wants to maybe start their own small business or wants another stream of income? And I think one thing that really amazes me is her time management skills. I was just telling her that earlier today because having a nine to five and having a small business, like that's basically two nine to fives. And so I just think that's really amazing. And I'm not, not to glorify like overworking yourself. I just think that finding a balance is good and when you do the research and if you're ambitious about something and it's something you want to do then I say go for it this isn't to say like if you don't have your own business you're not successful like I don't want that to get twisted because I think sometimes there's this narrative that people kind of push of like you have to be but like no it's obviously at your own pace but this is for those of you who do want to maybe start your own business or you have an idea that you just haven't quite started yet um yeah, I feel like she was a great person to kind of give that inspiration. And like I was saying, anything you'd want to share? For the longest time, I, you know, I, I, I've always wanted to start a business. I always thought in my mind, oh, one day I will feel ready. After like X amount of years in corporate America, I would know the, the lay of the land and I'd be able to bring that into a small business and, um, I came to a realization that that's not necessarily true. Like there's there's not going to be a moment where you're like, I'm ready to start yeah. a business. <laughs> um, regardless of, you know, how much money you have saved or, you know, how much um, expertise or research you have done. Mm-hmm. Unless you start, um, you're never really going to know. Um, so if even if it's just like getting a domain name or doing research, just start thinking about what you want to do. Yeah. And uh, definitely do research, right? Not um, like... Um, not every industry or every um, small business is going to be the right one for you Um, and there's a lot of saturation in a lot of industries right now so make sure you stand out and you're able to bring something of value um, that people will want and it will be easy to sell Um, so yeah definitely I think that's good so I think a big thing for her was like she found her niche I don't know if we mentioned it um, but she focuses on first gen college graduates and minorities I would say like um she's Latina Mexican both parents are Mexican right okay yeah so she grew up and you know it's a different experience being first gen um both my parents went to like I just think we have some things for sure in common in our backgrounds but some things are different and so I just wanted to kind of show that no matter where you came from there's still a way to get there there's a route for everybody it's just i think having that information like she was saying like google like the google youtube uh i really like investopedia and i really like um there's a couple like tiktokers that i watch maybe i'll like mention them (laughs) um and so stuff like that i feel in books like it's all kind of about investing in yourself and that education and if you're thinking about it um like starting your own business or investing or whatever the case My mom always told me, um, don't, I I don't want to mess up the phrasing, but let someone else tell you no. Don't tell yourself no, like, oh, no, it won't work. No, it won't be successful. If you're doing the research, find a market that's not too oversaturated. Find your niche. Do something that is meaningful to you. I think work doesn't really feel like work when it's what you love, when it's what you enjoy. And I think that's kind of, you probably agree, how you're able to do like nine to five and 
what you love. Um, so yeah, if you were like thinking about starting your own thing, some of you have messaged me that you have these business ideas and sometimes you share those things with me, which is really cool. And so I want you guys to do it. I feel like that's kind of what happened with this channel, you know, of course, like, you guys know stuck up with Larry Jones, um, but he helped me start this channel, which I'm sure you already know. But that was still a leap of faith for me because I had not heard really like anything about the stock market. It wasn't really discussed in my house. My so I have my mom and my dad. My dad passed away when I was younger, and my mom remarried my stepdad. They've been married since I was like eight, I think. So he he pretty much raised me, and so. Um, I knew that he invested and I kind of asked him about it. And I remember him telling me like, you need to open a Fidelity account. And I was like, what in the world is Fidelity? Like, and I was explaining how there's brick and mortar buildings. He tried to give me the stick packet and I was just so confused, but it did push me to go out and learn about it on my own. And now we have these conversations about stock and crypto and I love it. And I love that it's kind of opened a conversation in my own household about money and budgeting and investing. And I think sometimes people just need to have that push, start that conversation, and it really makes a huge difference for both of us. One of the biggest things is building generational wealth. Um, for her situation, it's like, well, I don't know. What made you want to build generational wealth? You should answer that. <laughs> I mean, for all of us, we all, we've all we all struggled. I think some, some yeah. maybe more than others. But, um, yeah, I saw um, how much money was an issue in my family, and I don't want my future children to um, – you know, lose out on opportunity just because they weren't able to pay for it. Um, yeah. And I want to start, you know, start investing in knowledge. And for myself, it's not something we, we're taught in school, um, you know, taxes, investing. It's not something even taught in college. Like, right. um, so I want to have that foundation for, you know, future generations and yeah. future. That's awesome. I definitely think this generation is doing a really good job of learning more information and paving the way. And so that's why the focus of my channel is like millennial, millennial money moves. Um, because I, although I'm like kind of on the cusp of Gen Z and millennial, it's that age group that I really want to start talking about investing in money and retirement plans and stuff like that. Because I just feel like with social media, we have so much information and access to stuff right at our fingertips and so i just feel like we should be jumping on that and if you guys are thinking about investing buying a house if you have the money to do it and it's just fear holding you back faith over fear i totally think you guys can do it if you just step out and take that little leap um i'm gonna put a link to her website in the description box below because i love this shirt it is great quality a little self uh plug for my friend <laughs> i really do love her stuff if i didn't i wouldn't be talking about it on here um and i think that's awesome you know it's first gen it's promoting like minorities and small businesses and those are all the things that i stand for so if you guys feel like someone needs to hear this if they need a little inspiration uh share this video with them can you tag i think you can tag people in youtube <laughs> tag them in the video um send it to them and i just wanted to like do kind of a different than hey guys these are my stock picks for today because i want you guys to get to know me more about my life and the kind of people around me who motivate me to do uh just to do more and reach those goals because of her I, she always does these i am affirmations that she puts up in her um like kind of around her mirror. It's really cool. And so I started writing out my I am affirmations every morning and I write little goals underneath it of how I can attain those because I do think it's mindset, but you also have to put it into practice. Um, you know, I always heard faith without works is dead. And so, yes, I'm saying I am this, I can achieve this, but I'm also breaking down, okay, specifically, how can I get there? And I think um, educating yourself on stuff and taking a leap and starting something is one of the best ways to do that um but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this kind of a different video i know i didn't give out a stock pick um but i will be back with another video tomorrow with like a stock crypto update business as usual but i'm going to start doing more videos like these i hope you guys liked it leave me a comment if you guys um have anything you want to say to know me or me but thank you for coming on my channel <laughs> thanks for having me <laughs> next time this little mic situation will not be like that but thanks for bearing with me all right have a good one you guys bye